Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're talking about lighting bald people. That's right, I am going to be joining the Hall of Bald Production, guys. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'll link to them in the description, and the time has come. Now, for those of you who are like, Caleb, don't cut your hair, it looks fine. Well, it may look fine exactly facing you guys like this, but if you meet me in real life or have met me in real life, you will have experienced and seen this. And then this is especially bad. So needless to say, it's time. I'm not gonna do any of the silly stapling of ant legs to my head or any kind of weird tattooing to fake it or anything like that. I'm just gonna go for the gold and cut it all off. And I figured this would be a great way to do that here on the channel. So now I'm gonna cut to the new bald Caleb and we're going to jump into several different things you need to consider when lighting bald people. Just go right up the middle. Gosh, oh my word, you're so bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's oh happening? My gosh. Who are you? Wow. And bam, hair is gone, or at least almost all of it. There's still a little bit left. Um, so let's jump into things to consider when lighting bald people. The first one, and really the biggest problem you're gonna run into is glare, dealing with all of this reflective surface. The skin on people's heads are very uh, reflective, so that's gonna be a big problem, probably your biggest issue when lighting bald people. So you wanna be careful with your exposure. Look for those little highlights. Um, often sweat is gonna be a big issue or greasy heads. And that's where using some kind of powder really comes in handy. If you're working in a corporate interview uh, environment, try to have something really neutral, easy to sell, especially for bald CEO guys. You know, this isn't makeup, this is strictly to deal with those highlights when we're recording the videos. Maybe show them you putting the stuff on yourself and uh, use disposable applicators, whether that be little pads or brushes, so you can throw it away right in front of them so they know it's sanitary and all that good stuff. But that is gonna help eliminate those highlights um, and that can be a real problem and you don't find as much when you're lighting people with hair. If your camera or monitor has some way to check your exposure, definitely use false color or zebras to scan this area of the forehead to make sure nothing's going to be peaking because I can't tell you how many times I've sat down with someone else's footage or the stuff that I filmed and I uh, went to grade and there's that one spot that's blown out on a CEO's forehead or something like that. So um, definitely double check that and make sure you're good to go when it comes to exposure on people's skin. The next thing you need to think about is the placement of your lights. Um, you need to also take into consideration the shape of people's heads. Some people are going to have a lot of overexposed, you know, kind of a slow slope on their forehead. So what you might have to do for a bald person is to lower your key light. So it's not going to be hitting as much of the top of their head and more just straight on on their face. So experiment with the height and try to figure out a good place where you're not going to have, you know, really shiny overexposed areas on the top of their head and it's mainly going to be landing on their face. The next big lighting consideration is a kicker rim or hair light so I actually have one turned on let me put it back to where it was when I had hair and show you how bad that looks so I've turned it up to where it previously was when I was showing you myself with hair and as you can see depending on where I look you get those really big spikes um, on my face in particular right in this temple area depending on how I'm sitting, uh, can be a big issue. So definitely either completely eliminate that or reduce it to a very, very low level. It's going to be very easy to blow that out and cause a big distraction uh, when it comes to your lighting. So be careful with rims and hair lights. Here's an example of my light turned all the way down as low as it'll go. This would work. Alternatively, I could just completely turn it off like so, and now there's no rim light. You can also experiment with replacing a hair or rim light with a background light. So I'm gonna actually reach back here and I'm going to set my background light 
to light this area of the background to give me a little more separation um, that I normally could achieve with a hair or rim light. So with that background light change, I'm adding more separation to that darker side of my face, and uh, you can use that to skip using a hair light. While we're talking about backgrounds, that is a very important thing to consider when setting up lighting for bald people. If you're filming a pasty white guy like me, you wanna make sure your exposure isn't too high. So this is something you probably don't want to do, especially if the light behind the person is close to their skin color. The same goes for different color skin. If you're filming someone with really dark skin you might try to lighten up the background we need to add separation because if you think about hair that's the separator between the face and your background we don't have that anymore so it's just one color that uh, we need to kind of make sure is separate from the color of our background so a lighting setup like this would be much more appropriate for a bald white guy so to recap you're going to go to war with glare when it comes to lighting bald people consider having some makeup on hand if you film several different people um, when it comes to your lighting you want to make sure you take care with how you position your light. Don't take your key too high for a high key. Try to drop the light if you need to, to avoid overexposing people's heads. Be very careful with your hair and rim lights if you even use them. Um, you might just play it safe and completely remove them. And then of course, make sure you remember your background lighting. What does the background look like behind the person you're filming and make sure it's not similarly exposed or similarly colored as them. Try to add some separation that way. That's also a great way to add some separation if you're not gonna be using that hair light. So those are just some quick tips when it comes to lighting people that are bald. If you wanna also learn how to light people with glasses, check out the video somewhere up above me and I've done a video talking about how to get around that nasty glass glare. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions of your own in the comments below. Otherwise, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.